Hello, welcome to the next quick tutorial. In this segment, we are going to see how to use the Clonezilla for backup, uh, clone, restore the operating system, um, both for Windows and Linux. So for this setup, I have taken two hard disks. Uh, one hard disk is with the CentOS 6 operating system and the other another one is empty hard disk. So at first download the ISO image of Clonezilla from its official website and boot it to the USB device. So here you can see two hard disk mounted and one USB device connected to the machine. So hard disk in port 0 is empty and the port 2 is with CentOS operating system. So now I am going to take backup of CentOS hard disk and save it to another empty hard disk as an compressed image. So here just hit enter. So at first it will prompt you to select the language. So now we can start by clicking start and choose the device image work with the disk of partition using images and choose the local devices. Here I am choosing the local device since I am saving the cloned image to the local hard disk. So you can uh, you can move the cloned image to another uh, server by using SSH or you can save it to the Samba server or by using NFS server. So just select local device if you are uh, going to save in another hard disk which is mounted in the same machine. So just hit enter. In this screen it will display the available disk which is mounted in the uh, system. So just hit control plus C to exit this windows. So in this screen, it will allow you to select the hard disk to where the cloned image to be saved. So here you can see the two hard disks SDA and SDB. So SDB contains the CentOS operating system and SDA is an empty hard disk. So here I am choosing SDA hard disk. When you select the device, it will display if the directories are available in that hard disk. Since the hard disk is empty, it will show only the slash. So just hit enter. So it will ask for the confirmation. Just hit enter again to continue and in this bar we have to choose the respective mode so the first mode says that the uh, to save the local disk as an image and the second one is used to save only the partitions as an image so if uh, the image is already taken so we can restore it by using the third option so here I am going to choose the first option that is to save the local disk as an image It will ask to give the name for the cloned image. So here I am giving backup hyphen IMG. And hit enter. And in this screen, uh, we are going to choose the hard disk that is to be cloned to the another hard disk. So here I am choosing the STB hard disk that is the CentOS operating system located hard disk. So just select the hard disk by uh, pressing the space bar and you can see the asterisk symbol at first and just hit enter. And here it will ask you to select the checking process. So just give skip checking process and hit enter. For some security reasons you can encrypt the uh, cloned image. So here I am selecting not to encrypt the image and just hit enter to continue. So by default Clonezilla will mount the destination hard disk as home part image and the name what we have mentioned before. So it will uh, clone the source hard disk to the destination path as home part image backup image. So at this final confirmation just give S yes and hit enter. So now the cloning is started and here you can see the first part that is slash device slash stb1 is cloned and next one slash device slash stb2 is to be cloned. So here you can see the another device is also cloned to the destination hard disk. So once the setup is done, it will ask for the final confirmation to exit this clonezilla setup. So just give enter to exit. And here you can give reboot.
so now let's boot to operating system hard disk and we can mount the another hard disk into it and check whether the uh, cloned image is saved there or not so now going to the os hard disk located in port 2 so once the machine is logged in open the terminal and here you can check the available disk using F disk command and here you can see the pen drive as SDC and SDA as the empty hard disk and SDB as operating system hard disk so here SDA is the additional hard disk where the cloned image is saved so I'm going to mount this hard disk so mount on the device name and in local I have created second hard disk so the device is mounted so you can see that the device is mounted by using df-h command so now go to that hard disk and list the contents so there you can see that backup hyphen img file is saved so I'm going to view the uh, details in this image directory so while listing you can see all the contents of this operating system is saved as the image file Thus, the image of the whole operating system is saved as a cloned image to another hard disk. So now we can see how to revert back, that is restore back to the original hard disk. So before that restore process, we can delete some contents in operating system. And after the restore process is done, we can check that the contents is restored or not. So here I am removing the uh, all the contents in root home directory. So by using rm-rf command I am going to remove all the contents here so now you can see the home directory of root is empty so now I am going to revert back so just give reboot and now boot it to the uh, clonezilla and here start clonezilla and choose the device image option and go to the local device and just hit enter so here we can uh, exit this windows by pressing ctrl c and here we need to choose the respective device where the cloned image is saved so here i have saved the cloned image in sda hard disk so now i am choosing the sda hard disk here and select the top directories and hit enter to continue and give the beginner mode and here we are going to choose the restore disk option so only we can restore an image to the local disk so just select that option and hit enter and in this screen it will display all the backup images and we need to select the respective image so here i am choosing backup hyphen img image to restore so select the image and hit enter so in this screen we are going to choose the hard disk to be restored uh, so here i am choosing the sdb hard disk that is the hard disk that contains centos so select the hard disk and hit enter so we can skip checking by clicking this option and hit enter to continue so here it says that once the restore process is done it will be overwritten so all the data will be lost so it will ask for the final confirmation so just give yes and continue so once again it will ask for the same confirmation so again give yes and continue thus the restore process is started so at first the sdb1 pro, uh, partition is restored and now sdb2 partition is restoring thus all the partitions are restored it will ask to uh, choose the mode so just give the reboot and now we can check whether the operating system hard disk is restored back so now boot it to the OS hard disk once the OS is booted open the terminal and we can check whether the home directory of root is reverted back to its original state so there you can see the home directory of root is reverted back to its original state so thus the clonezilla helps to revert take backup and revert the same backup to the 
several hard disks from a single hard disk that is from a single cloned image so thanks for watching this video